So the trail goes in multiple directions. Um, I think I'm going to head down this way because it looks kind of interesting. Some steps. Not sure what this is, but we are going to investigate. So what do you suppose this was used for? I wish there were some historical signs here because... This is really cool. You can see there's a pipe. So I don't know, did that bring spring water into this little bath? Did people take baths out here? <laughs> Maybe. All right, let's see what we find over here. So I'm gonna have to research what creek this is. I don't have any idea, but it's nice. And we've got some old stonework over here. And that's the railroad tracks over there. I'm thinking maybe there was a mill here at one time. I would think this is a convenient place for a mill because you have the water source, you have a creek here, and then you have the railroad right there, so. So maybe, maybe not. So we have some more um, old stonework here, here. And this, this looks like at one time it was an old road maybe. Whoa, oh, whoa. <laughs> what is this? All right, so this is right into the side of this hill. Concrete structure. And we're able to walk in here. God, it's spooky. Some old pipes here. I don't know what this was. If you know, please leave it in the comments. And there's the rock from the, the hill right behind us. Um, so I don't know what this would have been built for. What do we got going on up here? Piece of iron. So Butline was an extremely industrial area. Steel industry, mostly. So I have a feeling we're going to find a lot of that stuff around here. Random steps in the woods with a gate. <laughs> oh, come in. 
So that's very strange. I guess it's not strange, but it's kind of cool that stuff like this remains out here. I don't know why a gate, a canal maybe? But we definitely have something going on here. I guess a canal, right? Right? <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm thinking it was a canal. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get over to that side, but that's pretty cool. Let's see what else we got going on here. So we got this structure right off to the side of the creek. Oh, it's open. We have an opening. Okay, so just to give you an idea. There's the creek. There is the creek. And this is right by the side of the creek. Oh God, this is scary in here. This is um, very cool, but this is scary. <laughs> <laughs> We've got an old light socket. And what's the deal with this chain? There's the door that was on the other side. So, and an interesting shape here, like almost shaped like you would put a boat in here. So maybe this was a boat house? I don't know. Maybe they kept their boat in here. I don't know if that makes any sense, but again, like I said, I am always guessing on these videos. So we have these little concrete, maybe, maybe that's where you would park your boat. <laughs> so we got a couple of lime kilns here. Get out of the sun glare. This is a very cool spot and um you see a lot of lime kilns in Pennsylvania. This one's accessible, so it's very cool. I don't really have a lot of knowledge on how these lime kilns work. I'm assuming these are ventilation holes. So I just looked up Archibald Johnston. He was the president of Bethlehem Steel. And then he was actually the mayor of Bethlehem. I believe he was the first mayor of Bethlehem. But I'll certainly check that out and put a description below. You can't go anywhere in this place without seeing some remnants of the past.
Not sure what this was for, but it's a, I guess a pretty big <laughs> pool of water. <laughs> Check out this old cement bridge. Very cool. Probably a gate was here at one time. And this may have been a road that led into their property. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So there's that stonework, it's all round, and there's a pool there. And it looks like we have something similar here. This is the time of year to do this. Okay, we got a little... tunnel here. Okay, now to get back on trail. And this, I'm assuming, is their residence. This does not say private property, so we are certainly going to check this out. So this would have been their driveway? I'm thinking they probably give tours, but I'm guessing that you could probably not just walk straight in. I can't see how that would be <laughs> possible, but one never knows. All right, look at this to the side. All right, let's check out the house first, but I'm going to take a walk down there as well. Even though there's a gate in front of it, it doesn't say no trespassing, so that means I can go. So this is the remains of the old walkway to the house. Johnston Mansion. Wow, that is a beautiful home. Seems old Archibald had his own fire hydrant. <laughs> okay. Got 
an old water spigot here. Oh, check this out. <laughs> that almost feels like you could lift it up. Palm shelter? <laughs> a place you would go if there's a tornado? Not one, but two. Let's go under here uh, and see where this would take us. And just picture members of the Johnston family coming down here. This is, uh, this is nice. This is where I would come out, drink my coffee in the morning. It's starting to fall apart a little bit. Looks like somebody was sweeping and raking here at one time. Wow, look at this. This is nice. Now, I have no idea what this is. Got a pipe. Huh. You can see the end of it here, so I I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it went all the way up to the house for some reason. I don't know why. Well, I'm not really gonna comment on it anymore because I have no clue. And this goes off two different directions. I am going to go this way. They probably, like I said, it doesn't say no trespassing here, but they had a fence in front of it, probably because it could be a trip hazard. You just got to be careful. And then there were some little trail here because I see some steps out as I just got stuck by a sticker. And we have some steps which brings you right back to the trail. I think I'm gonna end my video here and I just wanna thank you so much for joining me. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and be sure to get out there and enjoy life. So everybody have a great day and I will see you in the next video.